Well, it's here, the first football frenzy. That's right, Jason Terzis is live. He's in Muskegon tonight, the site of one of our spotlight games with more. Jace? Hey guys, yeah, last night the Football Frenzy crew out and about. Highlights of 10 different games last night on day one, but tonight it's day two of week one. And uh, the Frenzy crew's out and about. Highlights of up to 18 to 20 games somewhere in there tonight for you on the Football Frenzy, including the big showdown here between Muskegon Oak Ridge and Muskegon Heights. Why a showdown? Well, because last year each coach won a state championship. Jack Sugar's here at Muskegon Oak Ridge and Willie Sneed, who won a state title at Holland Christian, but has now since moved on to Muskegon Heights. Last time we saw Willie Sneed, he was leading the Maroons of Holland Christian to the Division IV state championship. That, of course, was last Thanksgiving weekend. So why in the world is Coach Sneed now here, working across the street from boarded-up houses at Muskegon Heights? Turns out for Sneed, leaving Holland Christian after just one season was an easy decision. I saw a group of kids out here uh, that really lead, needed some leadership spiritually and, and some mentoring. Derek! If that got most of the way, you got to make that bump call. And uh, that was my whole purpose for coming to the state of Michigan, to, to really do ministry and work with kids and help those that, that you know, that are lacking. And that's on either side, Coach, right? Either side, right. For Sneed, Muskegon Heights is similar to his hometown of Belle Glade, Florida. He may not be able to help the entire community, but he can build up a football program that's had just one playoff appearance in the last 16 years. Move, move. There we go. Now you got him, Willie. Mo, you got quarterback. There you go. Good. You know, the big challenge is, is the, the discipline getting them to, to make good decisions. And I think that's what have gotten a lot of our kids in trouble is that they've made poor decisions or they've just not have been around the right people. And the influences that they face on a daily basis is, is you know, it's really a challenge for them. And, and I'm hoping with myself and my staff that we can do things to uh, help them make better decisions that would give them another opportunity outside of Muskegon Heights. Starting at quarterback for the Heights this season will be Coach Sneed's son, also named Willie. And last year's quarterback, Van Parker, is now playing receiver. He's okay with the move. As the Tigers' starting point guard on the basketball team, he knows what it takes to win and will do anything to help get there. It's a different, it's a totally different attitude. Everybody got a new attitude where they want to work hard. People want to win now. Everybody want to win. Usually, people was kind of like, really didn't care about much. But now, Coach Schneid brought in a new, new, whole new attitude. Right, and I think Lou Holtz said it best. You have to teach kids how to win, how to practice. And, and that's the big thing that I see here is that we're teaching them how to do things the right way. If you want to be a winning program, you got to train like a winning program and you have to make decisions like a winning program. And I think that's the biggest uh, hurdle that we're probably going to face this year. Now coming up in about a half hour at 620 during sports, we're going to hear from Oak Ridge head coach Jack Sugars. A big honor for him this summer. We'll tell you all about that coming up. We're live at Oak Ridge High School in Muskegon. Jason Terzis, 24-hour News 8.